Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as I can see by the title of this video, today I'm gonna be showing y'all three easy hairstyles that you can do for your short hair. Ever since I cut my hair, I usually like don't or didn't know what to do with it, like how to style it, how to like just look good, you know? But recently, these three hairstyles that I'm gonna show y'all have been my go-tos. Right now, I just got out of the shower and I'm basically blow drying my hair because I don't want it to air dry today. As I'm like blow drying it, I'm also straining it. So I'm just gonna like time lapse this part and then I'm gonna go show y'all what the three hairstyles are. so i am back i blow dried my hair and i strained it a little bit my hair looks a little bit like puffy right now like do y'all see what i mean by like puffy it kind of just like it's not straight you know what i mean anyway we're just gonna start off with this video so for the first hairstyle i feel like this is a super basic we're gonna go from basicest to basic okay i feel like this hairstyle this first one that i'm gonna show y'all is really for like you don't want to do your hair but you still want to look decent um you kind of just want to put like gel in the middle or not in the middle like on the top of your head to make it look more straight more laid down um i'm using eco gel and i'm using one of these brushes to kind of just like make everything flat so you're going to want to put everything behind your ears and I'm gonna grab this brush and I'm just gonna keep brushing to the back kind of just like create a ponytail here all right so once you feel like your hair is like all good and laid back I'm gonna turn around or I'm gonna just like go like this you're gonna need one of these little clips um kind of just twist your hair I don't know if you can see twist your hair put it up and then you're gonna grab your gancho and you're gonna put it right here. And I feel like this is super easy, super basic, super fast. Like I usually do this hairstyle when I look good, but I don't know what to do with my hair, you know? And I just feel like it looks really good. So that's the first hairstyle. All right, for the second hairstyle, it's gonna be a hair down kind of hairstyle. So, I feel like for this hairstyle, I always like to have my hair straight because my hair is naturally like curly. Like my hair gets all puffy and shit, so I usually always strain it. But um, this next hairstyle is super easy as well. I feel like it's easier than the last one. It's more classy, I feel like. So I have two barrettes here. You can use bobby pins, but I'm just using two barrettes because this is not the hairstyle I'm gonna keep today. But basically what you wanna do is kind of like part your hair in the middle. But basically, you kind of want to start rolling your hair from like the beginning, from like here where I added the thing. And eventually you're going to like get a little piece like this. You're going to keep rolling and rolling. And then you stop, get your little barrette and just clip it in. And that's one side and then for the other side you kind of just want to do the same thing just like that you get your bobby pin clip it in and that's how it looks like now these parts also for this hairstyle i like these front pieces to kind of like swerve here at the end so with my strainer i kind of just like go from like an angle I go like this hold on. I go like this and then kind of just do y'all see like how it and I feel like it makes your face look like a little bit more framed you know um but this is the second hairstyle all right now for this next hairstyle you're gonna want to pay a little bit more attention than the other ones I feel like this hairstyle is basic but like you have to pay attention 
So you're gonna wanna get these little like moñitos, this is what I call them. Um, they're clear. I feel like if you know what color like outfit you're wearing, you can also have like the ones that are colorful. So basically you wanna just kind of um, have your hair parted in the middle. I'm gonna put a little bit of eco gel here in the front, just like that. And then um, we're gonna work on one side first and then we'll move to the other one. You wanna have like a little comb like this to like part your hair. The first piece that we're gonna part is here in the middle and it has to be small, just like that, like a little triangle. You're gonna get that piece. And lately I've been doing this hairstyle because I just feel like it's really, really cute. So I'm just putting my hair back like that, but you wanna just brush. I have one of these brushes to like make it smooth at the front. If you don't have a brush like this, you can also use like a spoolie. But basically you wanna get your chongo and just tie that little piece in the front. Okay, and it's gonna look like that. For the next piece, you're gonna just wanna, so we have that one right there. Whatever you feel like is the best other part, you're just gonna part it. And this one, this like little piece in the front, you kinda wanna put it together with the piece that we just created. And I keep putting more eco gel so that all the little hairs are smooth and laid back. And then you get your other chongo and you just tie it. Okay. So now you have two little um, sections. You can stop at three sections. I usually do four, but basically you're just, you're just gonna keep parting your hair in the middle to where you want it to. And usually I don't bring the part all the way down here because I don't want it to look like braids. I kind of just um, stop like right here, like this little hairs, I'm not gonna put those in. You just have to kind of know your hair and you just want to keep putting eco gel and just keep um, making it smooth with this little thing. If you don't have this, you can use a smoothie and you just want to keep tying. All right, so now you have three. I feel like you can definitely um, stop here, but usually I always add a last piece, a fourth piece. So you kind of want to just do the same thing, just part it. Put more gel. You basically just keep repeating the steps that you um, already did in the beginning. And a little disclaimer, your hands might hurt after this because they're always like doing something. So you get your last piece and you kind of just tie it. And then that's how it looks like. Now we're gonna do the same to the other side. And to the other side, I like to do it like part it at the same side or the same like little section that I parted the other side. So you just wanna keep doing the same thing that you basically did to the other side. And in total, you need six to eight moñitos, depending if you wanna do um, three on each side or four, I usually always do four. Sometimes I do leave it at three. I just feel like four, it kind of makes look a little bit like better. And then you wanna keep doing the same thing to the other side. And I feel like you have to have a lot of patience for this because sometimes like the little pelitos, they kind of get like stuck sometimes. Like you see how right there, like I didn't part it right. So sometimes you have to keep like reparting your hair and it gets annoying, but I feel like it's worth it at the end. Okay. And like I told y'all, I don't put like all the hairs in. Like I leave some hairs here.
have three. Now we're just gonna move on to the last one. So this is how it looks like at the end. All your hair is parted. And then this little side hair is like right here. I kind of just like to do it like the last hairstyle. Um, just kind of like curve it like this, like inward. And then I have like some hairs that are not too straight here. So I'm just gonna strain those. And you also want to be careful making sure the um, the strainer doesn't touch the little ligas because heat makes them rip, so. And you're just gonna do the same to the other side. All right, so those are the three basic hairstyles that I feel like you can do for school. You can just do them to look good, like, you know, and I think they don't take up too much time except this one and not even, it just takes like 10 minutes and you just have to have a lot of patience. But that's it for this video. If you guys want me to do more basic hairstyles, let me know. I love y'all and thank y'all for watching if y'all made it to the end. If you did, comment a comb emoji. I, I think they have one, like a blue one. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.